What's up, Marvel fans? This is Stan Series, and in here today, I'm going to be reacting to the first trailer for the Miss Marvel show. So, this only just popped on on YouTube around 54 minutes ago. I didn't even realise I really need to start um, set. Need to start having that notification on what that Marvel channel on YouTube, but it's here now. So, um, the the hopefully the answer could be questioned today: of is she an Inhuman? Does she have her same powers? And I mean, I'm gonna react to it anyway. But if you start seeing my face going like, yeah, like happy, or you know, that means Inhuman. But it's sad. It's like, yeah, Marvel. What have you done? So, okay, I don't know what to expect really. So, uh, let's just hope she's an Inhuman. Please tell us that, or give us a hint that she is. So, here we go. Oh. Very classic. Okay, so first off, I just want to say, hmm? I get it. You get what? High school. Kamala. Kamala. Another adventure hmm. shirt. Oh. She thinks I'm some kind of weirdo. You were a weirdo. Oh, oh. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind of on my shirt. Sorry. Tish. But you're staring out the window in your little fantasy land. Oh. Mmm. Kamala. Hey. Huh. Ready? Do I have to figure out my whole future before launch or is it too late? Mm. Maybe they're right. I spend too much time in Fantasy Land. Mm. That does not do. Oh. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City who save the world. That's the fantasy too. Uh. Did something happen? Did you hear something? Cosmic. I always thought I wanted this kind of life. Oh. I never imagined any of this. You know what you are. I'm a superhero. Oh. Oh. Okay. Mm. Uh, it looks good. I mean, look, I actually enjoyed it. You know, the bits there and there. It's just, like I just said, yeah, Marvel, what have you done? I mean, all these rumors we heard way back. Well, I don't want to call it rumors now. We heard about, oh, she's not going to be an inhuman. She's not going to have the same powers. And this confirms it here i mean yeah i could see the stretch still happens like she still has the stretch ability you know like that sort that similar mr fantastic power but but now she's got well now her little well whatever you call that arm thing now that gives her these other abilities like what walking with these kind of broken glass thing come under her feet and so she can walk on the air well, uh, yeah, you spam it, and she can create shields. What are you doing, Marvel? Th this is not Kamala. I I'm sorry, but that's not Kamala. That's, I mean, that's not even Miss Marvel. You should just, just you should have just g gave her to another superhero and just like, oh, just give her a different name. But I'm sorry, Marvel, y you just ruined it now. Uh, is this all because of the how the Inhuman show went? Because you can't just. You can't, you can't just go on like that and change the story and everything because, oh, the Inhuman show was crap. I mean, I enjoyed it. I know there's a lot of people who might not like the show, but I enjoyed it, what they did, what they tried to, what the story they told and what they were trying to do. But this ain't a reason to go like, oh, we should change Miss Marvel to a non-human and give her this weird new abilities because the Inhumans failed. No. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I mean... Uh, <sighs> Let's just really break this down because I don't really want to get to a long banter of this. So, how do we start off with this then? So, obviously, Shaw starts with Kamala Khan, obviously, with her book, with her books, and obviously, I love this how the Marvel logo pops up. It's like, it's like obviously she must be she's obviously daydreaming, and you can see like this 
like the colour bubble you get from like comics, like with this writing or you know all that. But how that pops up, it's like the Marvel logo pops up, but it's like in drawing animation style, so that's pretty uh, different. Then we can see the, um, I don't know if he's the principal, or obviously someone involved with the school. And obviously he goes to talk about saying about, you know, what you're thinking about. Well, like you heard in the trailer, like, um, about your high school life and all that. Obviously that was Miss Marvel. Obviously looks like she's got, a, she's got some trouble so far. Like, must be that, um, well, this kid, I don't know, I want to say this girl's like a buddy or maybe someone who picks on her, but not in a buddy way. Well, not like it's fist fights or anything, but I think the words she say to her, it's like, no, there's no need, girl. Because it's like, uh, obviously, she's got a top with Captain Marvel, obviously, Valkyrie and Hope. And obviously, she's made a comment about that top. And obviously, when the... I love how that animation drawing's like with that girl. And she pointed, like, hit uh, demon horns on her. Is that Miss Fisto? Oh, I'm joking, I'm joking on that one. Then we bump into one of her friends. Obviously, he looks like... And we can see the costume of Miss Marvel. Like, a one she wears... But it's like, a, obviously, for a ha from a Halloween cost costume party or something. I mean, there was those set photos way back. And I love it. And she goes, like, with him saying, like, you know, we, you know, and all that. <laughs> then we got a woman. Looks like this must be the lad that she's in love with. Now, I don't know if that's... I think that's the lad who's that inhuman. The, um, well, I think it is. Or that's a different character. Look, I haven't looked up who's playing who for ages. Except for, obviously, I know who's playing Miss Marvel. But other characters, like, I've... Lost track of who's playing who. I love how she uh, gays at him and he's like, uh, I think I think she thought he said something else, but he's like, you're stepping on my shirt or something like that. <laughs> then we can see, obviously, his school life. So, obviously, she finds it boring. We can see here, obviously, Jay dreaming like she's already dressed up as Miss Marvel in a better suit of it with a crown of her head, flowers, and, like, it must be, like, from a party or something, like a prom or all that. And then obviously that lad again with the flowers and all that. So she's really daydreaming. With the, obviously the guy, the teacher going like, hey, you know, snapping her out of that um, fancy, fancy reality world, we want to call it. And I love how she says about, do I need to try to just, uh, do I need to do this like before lunch or, you know, figure out her future. Then obviously we see uh, most of her daily life, like obviously going to a, I don't want to say it's a sort of a church, but obviously for the, Obviously, because of she's a because of her culture, they say. Then obviously we see a glitter statue of Miss Marvel, and I love that they've kept that with her. Like, oh, she's a big fan of Miss Marvel. Her mother looks like she's not a fan of obviously seeing about her being a hero. Well, about her being a sexual hero. So, hmm. Yeah, we got her on the bike, and then next, I, this must be in the back of her house. Obviously, in the girl eyes, I want to say. And then this is where she finds that br the bracelet or, you know, like the, the piece of her arm. It's like whatever they call it again. And then when she puts it on her, it's like the powers. You can see the thing glowing. So this is where her powers come from. But I'm still not happy they've changed it now. Because to me, that tells you she's not an inhuman, which they've messed this up now. But once she's done that, her eyes glow purple. purple. Then she's like, she, some weirdness is happening. And then obviously we find out the day now, it's only June, but I'll get to the, the actual day. And then obviously we see this part when um, obviously when something's happening and then obviously, and I think it's the brother again, saying, are you all right? Something's happened to you. And like obviously she said, I'm fine. Then we got the dad obviously like checking on her. But next thing we see like one minute she's shutting the door, but she's used, she got her hands up like that and then the purple thing shuts the door for her, so... This is what I mean by what have they done to her. And then next thing we see, obviously a place blowing up. Then we can see here with her both hands glowing. And this is what I was on about this right now. This shot's showing you her walking in. Obviously she's in the air. And obviously when she steps, it's like uh, these purple glass things are like on her, under her feet. So it's like, oh, she, she can walk in the air. Now this one here, it's like... It says cosmic, so it's like, wait, is this a cosmic, cosmic device then? But then we can see uh, in a proper costume she'll have in the end of the show, well, I would say. And from this point, be here, it looks like that her legs, her arms have stretched, but I can't really make out, but it does look like that. 
And uh, I do love the background and like the music they picked, like the weekend. Uh, oh, the I don't how did I let you name the song again? But you know what I mean. But here we got like a bunch of people heading to a building. So I don't know if they're the bad guys or something. But these four here look like they're the bad guys. And then Miss Com and then obviously Miss Marvel's there in front of them. We can see, uh, I think it's her, someone won in, I think it might be her. We can see a bunch of people in the field, obviously it must be a different country. We can see like a tech, obviously she's gone to somewhere. It looks like there's a moment when she's hugging her mom. And then we can see, we can start seeing the stretch a bit, but it's not, but like I say, it's all coming from that basic thing. So it's like, so it's not really her body stretching, which I'm not liking about on this. Then obviously we can see her with the mask, so I'd say maybe she finds a proper costume, she finds the costume, like obviously she'll wear for forever, well, you know, the proper Miss Marvel costume. We can see obviously the lad she's with running away with someone on the train, we can see her with her mask on, do, using her powers, then we can see a bunch of vehicles flying, then we got these, like a SWAT kind of group on the group with guns. So they must be looking for someone like her or maybe Inhumans. Well, I don't know if they are Inhumans now. Then when her, like I said, she's using that power like create a shield around her. And then obviously this bit here is telling her friend that I'm a superhero now. With her warning of him cheering. So it's like, yep, you're a superhero now. And now we got the date now. So Miss Marvel will be coming out to us on June the 8th. So... So, okay, so we got Moon Knight first. Obviously, that's not long away. Then we got Doctor Strange. And then the next one is Miss Marvel. So then Thor would be next. I thought She-Hulk would be the next one. I thought She-Hulk would be next, but looks like it's not. But then, obviously, we got the logo as well, which we've already seen. Now, the last shot they just show us is her, her on top of a lamppost looking over a city where she lives. And then just cuts to DC+. Plus. Well, the logo Disney Plus. So, like I said, I'm not. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna end up liking this because I mean, who knows? I might. It might. I might end up liking it, but I'm not gonna like it for what they've done with power wise. Because it's like they've just changed how her powers work now. It's telling me that she's not an inhuman. So they just kind of messed it up for me now. I'm. I'm. I'm really. I'm disappointed on this now because I was hoping that all oh, this was not what was not real. Like, oh, don't worry. It's like, oh, this still this information you've been hearing? Nah, that's wrong. She's still got her inhuman powers. She's gonna get the, you know, she's gonna get the, um, ah, uh, the Terrigen crystal hit on her and the powers kick in and all that. But here, it's like, no, there's, n she can't be an inhuman now. So, I mean, I feel like they've just, Marvel's done the wrong thing now. And, I mean, I don't know why. I mean, yeah, it might be like I said, because, because, is it because of the inhuman show failed? Or is it because you're going to have Mr. Fantastic? And I'm like, I've, I've said for myself, I'm like, in the MCU, we already have cat multiple characters who have the same power or like same kind of thingy. Like, for example, like Iron Man, we've had three people suit up as like an Iron Man. Like Tony Stark, obviously Waldy's War Machine, Pepper Potter's, you know, Rescue. Sure, I know they all have like different features and all that on their suits, but this that's still the same thing. They're all wearing a suit. And like Hawk, we're gonna get a She Hawk, so you're gonna have two. And well, you got multiple Hawks. I mean, Abomination counts as one as well. And also, if you're gonna have like, well, I mean, a bomb and well, and then well, there's the question of Red Hawk now because obviously the passing of William Hurt. So, but you get what I mean. But you get what I'm trying to say here. We've they all so obviously in the MCU so far. We have characters who have had a not same power as the other characters. So I'm like, why could they not? If that is the reason, because, oh, we're going to have Mr. Fantastic. We can't have two people with stress powers. I'm like, uh, have you not been watching the Marvel f Marvel shows and films? You can have a character with the same ability. So maybe, you know, like like for Mr. Fantastic, like he got his powers, obviously, through space, like with, a, with, his, fam with his group and the family. And obviously, Miss Marvel, yes, she's got the stress powers, but she got hers from being an inhuman. So, two different ways how they got their powers. And, you know, so, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I just really hope now, I'm just hoping maybe people on this train of comments now say, tell Marvel that, no, change it, just re just go back and re-shoot it again. 
And, and then days later, how they could just come out and say, oh, we just had to delay the series because we heard people complain and we're going to reshoot the whole series. Just please, Marvel, just do that. I mean, I would be happy then because I just want her as an Inhuman. So far to me, doesn't look like she's an Inhuman. But that's all I just got to say from this. So if you want to see this for yourself, I will leave the link down in the description below. Leave your comments down below. I mean, what do you think of this? I mean... Uh, do you like the change, or do you like the same as me? Like, I want to know as an as inhuman and all that. I mean, she could still be an inhuman, but I don't know. But we just had a way to see on that. Also, give this a thumbs so, up, you know. Oh, and obviously in the comments, if you got any thoughts, like what you think could go down in the series and all that, obviously leave them down in the comments below. We can have a discuss about that. Like I said, give this video a thumbs up. Share this out to your friends, so if they want to see someone different for a change, someone one of my videos, and if they do enjoy it, uh, enjoy multiple more of my videos and like them they can subscribe to my channel and if you are new to this channel this is what i do i do the marvel and transformer cinema universe news that goes with the trailers you know the super bowl tv spots um i try to get around with the clips but it depends it depends on the clip clips i mean and then the spoiler reviews i touch upon on the you know the film side but I did say I'd try to do like a catch up maybe on the Dizzy Plus show videos with, I mean, what's happened on the Dizzy Marvel MCU ones so far, the Dizzy Plus ones, but I don't know. I just had to wait. Uh, I just had to, f I'm really having to think about it to do the video or not. And then obviously I don't do spoilery type trailer, you know, TV spots kind of videos. I want to keep that for myself. And before I go, last but not least, you will see me last Marvel video clear here. My channel, make sure you click the bell to be notified when my new videos are up. And here, this is my last Transformers video up. So, that's it with you guys. So, I'm sorry if I'm just sound like disappointing because I am in a way disappointing. But look, we just had to wait and see for the show now, really. Because I don't think the trailers are going to tell you that or oh, give you a clue that yes, the inhuman gene is in her. We'll just have to wait and see for the show now. So, I hope you enjoy this and. I hope you enjoyed the reaction and breakdown video of the Miss Marvel trailer. And reminder, it's coming out on June the 8th. So that's a quick reminder. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Peace.